Greetings and welcome to From the Basement. In this video, we're going to take a look at creating stairs. There's a few quirks to those, so I figured they'd be best dealt with in their own video. To start things off with, I'm going to create a suitably massive area. So I'm going to come over here and create a uh, 2048. 2048, always remember to keep those powers of two by 16, uh, non-hollow, just flat plane here. I've been working in the editor quite a bit, so I'm going to make sure that that is zeroed out. Scroll out here a little bit, snap it, add it in, okay. We're good to go with our setup. So start off with, let's start with the easy one, linear staircase. I've already got some default options in here, so or I've already changed some of the options. So yours, your numbers will not look like this right off the start, I believe, actually. It should be 8. That, I believe, is what the default values are. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Step length does not refer to the total length of each step, but rather, what is the length of the area you step on? So if I scroll, zoom way the heck in here, remember these are 16-unit grids, so you can very easily see that these are 32 units in length. And that is what step length refers to. If I change that to 64 and hit build, I now have uh, much longer stairs. If I come in here and just look at the brush, we can see now staircase is now much longer, but doesn't go any higher. Let me change that back to 32. Step height refers to how high is the step. Do not move this above 16. It must be 16 for the actors to be able to walk up it without jumping. You can lower it, but I would recommend against it, because that starts, unless you're going to be having like very long steps, because that makes a very jittery staircase to walk up. I would strongly recommend leaving step height at 16. Step width refers to how wide is the step itself. So we can see here, 256. Number of steps, of course, refers to how many steps you uh, actually want to have. How you calculate the number you need is you take a look at how high you want to go, divide it by your step height, and that's going to tell you um, how many steps you need. So, pop up the old faithful calculator. Let's say I wanted to go up 256. My step height is 16. I need 16 steps. Now notice the number of steps is a slider, so unfortunately we can't do math in this box. I really wish they would let us do math in here, but they don't, such is life. And now we can see by having all those additional steps that I have 256 units high. Now let me place this out a little bit better. There we go. All right. Now, if I wanted to rotate these, remember for uh, rotating things, did I actually add that in? No, I did not. Control A. There we go. Now, if I wanted to say rotate this, remember space switches between your widgets. So I can switch to this uh, rotate widget here, rotate it 90 degrees, go back to scale, move that into place. By the way, you can, can control left drag. You do not have to grab the widget. A control left drag will drag the builder brush. That will only work on the builder brush. A control left drag will always pick up the builder brush. So I can move that over there. Hit control A to add that in. And there we go. We've got uh, some staircases. And I just realized for demo purposes, I've... Uh, Got my staircase moved over too far, so I need to move those real quick. Let me grab these guys and uh, actually what I need to do is rotate this one completely around. It was facing the wrong way. Move it over here and then grab both of these and move them, move them over. There we go. That's where they were supposed to be. And rebuild my geometry. So, let's see where they are. All right. And then just to sort of finish this off, I'm going to grab a quick uh, cube here. 
make a quick 256 by 256 by 256 cube and place that in oop, control Z control drag that up switch over to this mode slot it into place and now I have a little platform there. Okay, so that is a straight staircase. What about curved? And let me bring my options up here. And unclick counterclockwise. So a curved staircase. So what it says exactly what it sounds like. It's a curved staircase. The angle of curve controls how far it will curve. So the default is 90 degrees which we can see the easiest from top down. If I was to change that to oops, 180, so 180, and the maximum it can do is a 360, although I recommend against that because then basically the staircase is curving back in on itself, which doesn't really look all that good. I'm going to leave this at 90 build. Um, again, a lot of these things like inner radius, you know, how, what's the radius do you want there? If I change this to say something like 512, notice my step width doesn't change, it just makes the curve a little bit more gradual there. So actually, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to pull that back down to uh, 240. Uh, step height, step width, same thing as before. Uh, step, number of steps, 16, looks good because I want this to match up. And if I put this in, you'll notice that it's, it's curving the wrong way. And if I try to rotate this 90 degrees and then move it, the, the staircase is curving off onto the edge here. I don't want that. And so clicking counterclockwise will make the staircase curve in the uh, opposite direction. So now I can... Uh, Rotate this back to 90, drag that in, switch to this mode for a little bit better precision, verify everything, control A, add in, all right. And so that is a curved staircase. Again, fairly easy to use. Now the spiral staircase is a little bit trickier. Let me reset uh, all my options on this guy here. That was 64, that was 8, and that was 8. Okay, what the spiral staircase does is it, well, it creates a spiral staircase, obviously, but uh, it's a little bit trickier to use because if you put the wrong values in, it will not work. Uh, first thing, inner radius refers to, well, the inner radius here. See that if I can click correctly, it would match up 64. If I expand this out to 128 and hit build, you can see that the radius, the inner radius there expands out. Step width, same thing. Step height, same thing. Step thickness is a little bit different. How it gets the step heights is it actually has 32 thick steps that are offset to actually get you the step height of 16. What this means is that the very bottom step on this is actually 32 units high. So unless I sink this 16 units down into the ground, I won't be able to get up this first step. Now, number of steps per 360 and number of steps. Um, pretty much does what it sounds like. I have eight steps per 360 degrees. So if I increase this to 32 steps, you notice it spirals over itself. Now here's where the tricky part is. You've got to make sure that you don't make it so that it's so tight you can't walk through it. So if we were to look at this, I can see that uh, I only have a height of 64, which is like barely enough for crouching. That's not going to work. So I'd probably want to change this to say, you know, 16 steps per 360. And that gets me a little bit better, but it's still fairly a tight, fairly tight spiral. So I'll increase that to 32. Now I'm getting something perhaps a little bit more elegant. Increase my number of steps to 64, make this nice and big. And we can see now that it's spiraling in a way that's not going to feel claustrophobic. You can sometimes take a little bit of playing around to uh, get this to feel uh, really good. 
and uh, counterclockwise does the same thing, changes the direction of the spiral. And that's pretty much it. Add that sucker in. And if I wanted to see things, I'd have to add in a couple of lights here because this is uh, a lot of things here. So I'm going to add actor, light, point. Now I'm definitely going to want to turn off uh, light map. <laughs> light mass on this one. By the way, you can scale lights. So if I want this light to be bigger, I can switch to my scale widget and uh, scale that up. Go ahead and pull another light over here. And then I'm also going to duplicate that light here and uh, pull it up. So that way it's shining down on the spiral. And now I can go ahead and build light definitely turn off light mass in this case because when you're using really massive large lights like that and you don't turn off light mass I don't I hope you have nothing important to do for the rest of your day because it's gonna take a while now I can do a right click play from here and here's my curved I can go a bit just fine one of my straights come over here to the other straight and then I can go up there. It's a little bit less jerky when you have the UT Deathmatch game mode on. And off I fall. But there you go. That's stairs. So, until the next video.